What's up, everyone? Name Co here with Fantasy Smack Talk. Week 13, are you kidding me? I can't believe fantasy season's almost over, but it goes even longer with daily. So sign up for DraftKings, use the promo code FST, or follow the card, a link in the description below. If I was at least $5, you know what DraftKings is going to get you, hook you up with entry into a free contest. All right, so let's talk about week 13. Going to get right into it. Start with the running backs, David Johnson, $3,400, playing against the Rams. And here's the thing about David Johnson. He is starting for the Cardinals. You got uh, CJ2K, definitely done. Uh, Ellington's not looking good, and they pretty much, they already named Johnson the starter, so for 3400 you gotta love that. Moving on, this is a guy that I definitely haven't said all year, and thank goodness he's not owned on any of my teams, and that is CJ Anderson. While he's been a disappointment, with Peyton going down, they're not stacking the box as much, and while Hillman is technically the starter, he actually played more snaps last week than Hillman. 3500 playing a San Diego team that is terrible against the run. I don't think CJ could, while he's not going to repeat the exact performance he did against the Patriots last week, he's going to have a solid week, I believe. All right, moving to the wide receivers. Let's go with the Patriots. Let's go with Danny Amendola. Here's the thing about Amendola. He's 4,700. They're playing Philly. Philly is dead last about giving up points to fantasy wide receivers. So Amendola, while he's questionable, I believe he plays. No Edelman, no Gronk. This means a lot of targets for him against the secondary. They can't cover nobody. He could be in for a big game, but keep an eye on the injury status. You know, it, it's always tough with the Patriots, but I do think he play, I do think that he does play. All right, moving on to Dustin's sleeper of the week, Seth Roberts for the Oakland Raiders. Here's the deal, Dustin. I think you're onto something. Now, granted, he had a good week last week. So while I don't think he's going to re repeat six catches for a buck 13 and two touchdowns, he could get a decent amount of targets this week. And I think, you know, Roberts for 3,600 playing against a, a Kansas City team that's tough against the run. Oakland's going to have to pass, so Roberts could be a little bit sneaky. All right, let's move on to the other three positions here, starting with the tight ends. Going to stick with the Patriots. Chandler, he's the obvious play. He's only 2,500, playing Philly, no Gronk. That's a no-brainer. He's in all of my lineups. He had like 11 targets after Gronk went down last week. Got to love that. Next one, quarterback. It's Bortles time again. $6,000. Now, while I like 5000 below, as you know, because I assume this isn't the first time you're watching me, it's tough to do that with quarterbacks. And as you know, until they really respect Bortles, I'm going to keep throwing them out there. And he's going to keep throwing for over 300 yards and two touchdowns. And at $6,000, that's a great value. Playing play Tennessee, and again, he's only $6,000. All right, last, I'm going to go with Dustin again. So this is kind of the Dustin... DraftKings show. Go with the Bears as far as my pickup defense for DraftKings. 2,600 playing the San Francisco 49ers that have looked terrible. They've allowed, they are 28th against defenses, which means defenses score a lot of points against them. Could I see a pick six? I could. So that was the quick, that was probably the quickest one I've had all year. So I'm going to take this time to say thank you for watching. There's still more to come. I'm going to be doing this during the rest of the fantasy season, but sign up for DraftKings if you haven't. If you are watching this, trust me, throw in these guys and don't do all tournaments. That is key. I meant to say that I've been winning, I don't, tournaments I never hit big, but the multipliers and head-to-head, -head, I've been cleaning up all year, so hopefully that's what you've been doing as well. I talked about early in the earlier videos, I'm going to again re-live in that, re-enliven that in these later videos. That's it, Nameco, out.